Today on Capitol Hill, lawmakers were expected to meet behind closed doors where they could vote on whether to make some of former President Donald Trump's tax returns public. The House Ways and Means Committee obtained the records from the Treasury Department last month after a court battle with Trump. Prosecutors in New York have already accessed some of the records, but these are more recent. <laughs> Meanwhile, Congresswoman Liz Cheney speaking at an event last night after the January 6th Select Committee concluded its investigation by urging the Justice Department to prosecute Trump for his role in the Capitol riot. It was with uh, solemnity and, and sadness um, that, that, you know, the facts led to um, criminal referrals for the former president of the United States. Cheney and the committee based their recommendation on multiple crimes, including conspiracy to defraud the United States, obstruction of an official proceeding, and inciting an insurrection. The referrals are largely symbolic. The Justice Department is not required to act. Instead, it's conducting its own investigation, which is well underway. I think he needs to be held accountable. Capitol Police Officer Harry Dunn, who fended off rioters on January 6th, agrees with the committee's recommendation. Nobody's above the law, so he needs to go to court and have his day in court. But former Vice President Mike Pence is urging the Justice Department not to indict Trump, saying Trump's actions were reckless, not criminal. At this time of year, we're all thinking about the most important things in our lives, our faith, our family, and my hope is the Justice Department will think very carefully. Legal experts say looking ahead, it may not be January 6th that poses the greatest risk for Trump, but rather the investigation into those classified documents found at Mar-a-Lago. The uh, charges that are referred over to the Department of Justice are ones which do involve speech. Those are defenses which, uh, while I think the overwhelming evidence points to guilt, do give the former president legs to stand on, whereas the Espionage Act charges and the obstruction of justice charges or potential charges relating to the removal of documents have no such defenses associated with them. And Andrea, one final action from the January 6th committee. It's due to release its full report tomorrow. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.